Hi, this is John Rauschenberger, the CTO of Clarity Consulting. In this video, I'm going to walk through the second half of the Contoso retail demo. And this demo is focused on showing how you can leverage the extensibility platform that's provided with the Microsoft Unified Communications products to enable your applications with real-time communication capabilities. And the focus here is to see how we can leverage this capability to deliver better experiences for both our employees as well as our customers. So if we jump into the demo, we have the application up and running here. And this is an application designed for Contoso sales associates to use on the floor. And Contoso sells a variety of high-end housewares and furniture. And what we're going to do today is walk through the process of selling a couch to a customer. So you can see I'm logged into the application here in the Palo Alto store. And I have a customer, Denise Smith, who's come in and wants to purchase a couch. So I can drill down on, on furniture, find the couch she's interested, in this case the Miramar sofa, and add that to her shopping cart. Now, with the application, I can complete the sale directly here within the application. So we bring up the screen here and I can pre-fill Denise's contact information. And because we're selling her a couch, one of the things that we need to do is schedule a time when we can deliver that couch to her home. So what I'll do to pick a date is click this button. And here we're actually using Exchange Web Services to go out and check the calendar of the four delivery trucks that we have in the Palo Alto area. And what we're seeing here now is a representation of the calendars in Exchange that we pulled back using Exchange Web Services directly in the application. We can render that to our users in a way that's appropriate. And we can see here that on December 4th, we do have a time slot open from 3 to 5 p.m. That works for Denise, so we'll select that time. And on the screen now, we're also prompting Denise for her home phone number. And I'm going to put in my office phone. And there's also an option here to indicate whether the customer is interested in being notified if an earlier delivery date comes available. So we'll enable that choice and complete the order. Now, once the order is completed, within the application, we've done a couple of things in the processing of that order. The first one here is if I log into Outlook with my mailbox, or log into my mailbox, I should say, and I go into the tasks, we can see here that it's actually created a task to remind me to follow up with Denise on this order and it set that date for the day after our scheduled delivery. So we scheduled delivery on the 4th, it's created that on the 5th. And I have a link here directly to her phone number. And again, we did this using Exchange Web Services. We actually put an item into the sales associate's inbox automatically, and that's gonna come up and remind me uh, the come December 5th that I need to check in with Denise and make sure that her delivery went well. The second thing we did, and let me close out of Outlook and I'll log back in, and this time I'm not going to log into my mailbox, rather I'm going to log into the mailbox for the delivery truck. And if I go down to the calendar here, as I mentioned earlier, we're actually using the calendar in Exchange to manage our delivery truck schedule. If I expand our view here, you can see here's the schedule for delivery truck 1 for the week of December 1st through the 5th. I can actually add in and overlay the schedule for other trucks as well and we can view those all together on a single calendar. But for now, let's just focus on truck number one, and we'll actually drill in on just those two days, the third and the fourth. Now, for our demo purposes, we went ahead and created a, a delivery on the day before Denise's delivery here on December 3rd. If I open up Denise's delivery item, though, you can see we have her phone number here, we have the number for her order, along with the address this should be sent to, and we also have that indication that Denise is interested in being notified if an earlier time comes available. What I can do now is simulate a delivery being canceled. So we'll go ahead and cancel this delivery on December 3rd. And that's going to kick off a workflow that's going to go out and attempt to reschedule the truck. And see here, I receive an inbound call, and I'll go ahead and answer that and let it play. Hello, this is the Contoso Retail Delivery Department calling. About an opportunity to move your Contoso delivery to an earlier date and time. Would you like to know more? Yes. Okay. Your current delivery is scheduled for Thursday, December 4th, 2008 at 3 o'clock p.m. Due to a change in the previous appointment, there is currently an opening on Wednesday, December 3rd, 2008 at 3 o'clock p.m. Would you like to schedule your appointment for that time? Yes. Thank you. Your delivery has been rescheduled for Wednesday, December 3rd, 2008 at 3 o'clock p.m. If you have any questions about your delivery, feel free to call us at 555-1212. Thank you for shopping at Contoso Retail. Goodbye. 
So what we saw there is when I deleted that item, the delivery on the third from the calendar, that actually, again, using Exchange Web Services, kicked off a workflow where we went through the calendar for that truck looking forward on days after the third to see if there were customers who wanted to have their items delivered earlier if possible. We then were able to go out and call Denise at the phone number she provided and step through an interactive response system where we were mixing and matching pre-recorded prompts with text-to-speech all built using the UCMA 2.0 workflow activities that will ship with Office Communicator two, or excuse me, Office Communication Server 2007 R2. Now, by doing that, we were able to not only have Denise get a better experience by having her couch delivered earlier, we're also able to keep our delivery truck full when it's going out. One of the things we want to do is make sure that we fully utilize that resource. We don't want our trucks going out with only two items for delivery when they can handle three in a given day. So not only are we improving Denise's experience shopping at Contoso, we're also doing a better job of managing our resources, in this case, the delivery truck. Now, the last step in here is what I want to, in what I want to show you is how we can again use the communication platform that OCS provides to enable access to information when we're actually out delivering these items. So if the truck driver is out delivering these items and needs to get a hold of Denise on the day of the delivery, Perhaps he's running early, uh, he wants to see if she can actually take the item a little bit earlier in the day. What we've done is given him the, or given the delivery truck driver the ability to dial in and get access to the information that he needs using his phone while he's in the truck and doing it in a way that makes sense for him while he's driving rather than uh, having to look up the phone number and dial Denise directly, he can do it in an automated fashion. This also has the benefit of not necessarily needing to give our delivery personnel uh, the home phone number for the person they're going to, out to deliver to. So what I'm gonna do now is on my cell phone, I'm gonna dial into the automated system and see if we can get a hold of Denise using that system. I'll put my speaker phone on. Hello, welcome to the Contoso Retail Delivery Assistant. Please say your truck number. One. Okay, please tell me what you would like to do. Say one, to provide status on delivery, two, to contact a customer regarding shipment scheduling, or three, to talk to someone in the delivery center. Two. Okay, please say the five-digit invoice number so that I can find the customer's contact information. Zero eight one two seven. Good. I have found the customer's phone number and will try to reach them now. Hello, this is the Contoso Retail Delivery Assistant. Your delivery professional would like to talk to you regarding your shipment. Would you like to be connected? Yes. Thank you. You are now connected. Let me uh, quickly mute my phones here because I will get some feedback and echo. And as you can see now, my cell phone is bridged in with my desk phone, which is what I provided as Denise home, Denise's home phone number. Uh, and those two calls are actually bridged together. So let me go ahead and hang that up now. And you can see that when I complete that call, uh, it does terminate the call on my cell phone. Those two calls were actually bridged together. So what we've seen here now is with the Unified Communications Managed API 2.0 platform, we can actually build very sophisticated call management solutions. So not only did we answer the call and walk through some prompts to get the information that we needed, and that was built using the workflow activities, uh, but we also were able to do a fairly complex call management scenario where we put the delivery truck driver on hold, we called Denise, asked her if she wanted to communicate with the delivery truck driver, and when she said yes, we were then able to bridge those two calls together. So hopefully what you've seen in this demo is how we were able to implement a solution for a retailer like Contoso, where they're able to not only better leverage their resources, for example, the truck keeping it fully stocked or making sure that the truck driver has access to the information that he or she needs when they're out making the delivery, but also able to improve the experience customers have by, when shopping with the store. So basically what we've done here is extended the reach of our systems and our platform out to uh, communication mechanisms that make sense for customers when they're shopping with us, not only when they're in the store or hopefully giving them a great experience with the systems they're interacting with directly, but also when they get home by calling them and being able to interact with them in a way that makes sense for a customer while they're at home.